You can review text message threads generated using iMessage, SMS, and WhatsApp. To find chat documents, search document type for iMessage, SMS, or WhatsApp. You can view the names or phone numbers of participants. You can review metadata like the date and times of the thread and the number of messages. You can view attached images and videos within the thread. Attachments are also created as separate documents attached to the message document. A summary table displays the participants and the number of attachments and messages. Click a person's name or phone number to emphasize all content from the individual. Click in the MSG column to emphasize only messages or in the ATC column to emphasize only attachments. To add highlights or redactions, image the document and then annotate the image file. What's new for administrators? When exporting from Manage Documents, you can use the same name for multiple export jobs. To enable this feature, in the Add Export dialog box, select Allow Duplicate Export Name. All export jobs are now split into multiple batches to improve speed. All files from a single document are processed together. A file repository can now be optionally designated as an archive. Use an archive repository for storage that is accessed infrequently and then does not require high performance. To archive folders and files, select the folders and files and then click Archive. The number of selected items and the name of the upcoming zip file display. You can add an optional comment to describe the contents of the archive. Original document records related to the archived files still exist in the database. You can use the Restore feature to restore folders and files to their original locations. To restore archives, select them on the Archive File Repository page and then click Restore. To delete archives, select them and then click Delete. Original document records related to the archived files are not deleted. For uploads from file repositories, imports, and ingestions, the 7Z file type is now supported. The Upload dialog box contains a new checkbox named Extract Files After Upload. If this option is not selected, you may select a non-archive file to upload. The Download dialog box has a new checkbox named Compress Files for Download. Downloads begin sooner when compression is disabled. In the Size column, counts for the number of files and folders are included. When imaging has an unexpected network error, it automatically attempts to image the file again one time. When Imports suggests mapping from previous jobs or matching fields, Import 2 is chosen. An icon indicates how Ringtail maps the fields. The label of the value column has been changed to Delimiter. You can now map a single import field to more than one case field. For example, the subject field can map to both the title and meta subject. Use the Duplicate button to add another row for meta subject and choose title. You can now map more than one import field to a single case field. For example, both date received and date sent can map to the document date case field. For both date received and date sent, select document date in the case field column. Under field trumping order, set the order in which import fields populate the case field. During import, Ringtail calculates the page count for any files that did not have a count. Previously, this calculation was only performed when the files were indexed after import. If you encounter a parties-related error, Ringtail displays the field that generated the error. For ingestions, you can unsuppress all suppressed documents from a job. If retained suppressed files was not selected, the files for these documents are not available.
The Retry Job button is unavailable if a job fails during the cleanup step of the import files and metadata process. These should be submitted as new jobs. An ingestions job now automatically initiates a separate job to clean up temporary data so jobs finish more quickly. The cleanup job also checks for temporary ingestions data in prior jobs older than 90 days. After temporary data is cleaned up for a job, the retry button is no longer available. Under default settings, you can configure settings for breaking text message threads into documents. Minimum per thread. Threads with fewer messages than this value are not broken into separate documents. Maximum per thread. Threads with more messages than this value are broken into separate documents. The thread breaks at the largest idle period closest to the maximum message limit. If there is not a 15-minute idle period, then the thread breaks on exactly the maximum message limit. Idle time. When the time difference between two messages is this value or more, threads are broken into separate documents. For productions, you can add custom quality control rules using saved searches. Click the Add QC Rule from Save Search button, select a save search, and click OK. When cloning a production, you have the option to clone the custom QC rules in that production. To make unlocking a production faster, we have updated the Rendition Deletion step. At the portal, text extraction eligibility is now determined using only the excluded file extensions for text extraction case option. The portal level setting has been removed from the portal options page. For system administrators, a non-billable checkbox appears on the properties page for cases. Portal administrators can view, but not edit, the non-billable checkbox. Thank you for watching. See you next month.